So within all the different phases of inquiry, uh, the most important one for my inquiry was collecting student voice. So actually getting out into schools, talking to teachers, talking to students and gathering data that way. It's something that we don't get to do very often as teachers. We don't get to get out of our classroom and it provides us an opportunity to gather data in a sort of manner enhancing way and get a really good picture of what was going on in our kahoiako. Observation is, is big, you know, just actually seeing what's going on and seeing the coherency between the, the different sectors. Student voice, teacher voice, whānau voice has probably been the most enlightening part of what I've done and it's the biggest privilege of our job is actually meeting all those different people and collecting their voice. To be able to gather evidence from such a wide range of sources across the Kahui Akol because I mean there are there's some fantastic things going on and to be able to have the privilege to be able to get that information in the time to be able to do that. A surprise was the fact that collect a lot of student voice but actually really unpacking it and looking at it especially for five-year-olds because I collected five-year-old student voice and just finding really what was on top for them when they, they came to school was really important. So from my findings from my inquiry the biggest one of the biggest things was that teachers don't have enough time which we already know but it's making sure that we provide our teachers with enough time to go and look at other schools and to grow as teachers and to, do, to help them do the best job that they can. They all want to, but it's actually making sure that we are enabling them to do that. The thing that actually came from students was uh, teacher time. So while they felt like they had really, um, they had good relationships with their teachers, they felt like they could be better if teachers weren't so frazzled which was really interesting coming from a student's perspective. It's something that we know as teachers, but actually hearing it from students, uh, it was really, really heartwarming that they understand that. I was given senior transition. That was my inquiry. And to be honest, I'd never really thought about the transition of our tamariki from primary to secondary school. So um, within New Zealand, there's been a huge amount of research and. What it made me do was look at how it affects our tamariki here within Pukataraki and gather their voice around their feelings and maybe what things have made transitions not work, why we need to care about transition at all, you know, does it actually affect their achievement? And the big thing that it all came down to was that building of relationships was a really, really key part for our, um, for our students as they moved in. Um, probably the, the biggest thing that we had to focus on was, was how we built those relationships with students as they come through. Another one has been a recommendation that has been looking at the developing the relationships between the sectors, so early childhood and primary sector, and having discussions and also understanding the pedagogy and the practice of each other's sectors. We have started a um, early, liaison, um, early years liaison group with early childhood, and it's been fabulous having two of the early um, teachers from early childhood uh, on the management committee. So I think our challenge in 2019 is to now take the impetus that we now have in moving forward to identify the expertise internally and external expertise and then start really you know, moving forward. We've done the inquiry, now it's time to actually put it into practice, shall we say. So that's our next challenge.